everyone. So for today, we'll be working on a solution for lab 7, which is songs. So for this lab practice, we're actually given a database called songs, and it actually stores data from Spotify about songs and their artists. So let's take a look at the information that we have so that we can begin executing queries on the database. So as you can see here, what we want to do is that we want to be able to start executing queries on a database. So let's take a look at the schema. And you can see that as I scroll up, we actually have two tables in this data set, which is called songs and artists. So we're given info about the fields and information that we have from each table. So what we need to do is to write SQL queries to answer a variety of different questions by selecting data from one or more of these tables. So our response must take the form of a single SQL query, and we can nest other queries inside of this. So taking a closer look at the table, I've actually inserted some random dummy data to show an example of how information of a song and an artist can be stored in the respective tables. So you can see that information between both tables is actually quite different, but notice that in songs, the artist ID will actually equal to the ID in the artist table. So this means if we need to link these two tables together, this artist ID and ID will be the common field to link these tables together. You will see this being applied later. So how does this work? We are actually given 8 SQL queries that we need to write. So let's go through this one by one before we put it all in our program. So firstly, we need to write a query to list the names of all songs in a database. So this means that from our tables, we actually just need to list all the information under the field called name. So our query will actually be quite basic. So that would be select name from songs, where we just tell the system that we want to extract the name field from the table called songs. And that's all for the first query that we need to write. Next, we want to write a query to list the name of all the songs in increasing order of tempo. So from the tables that we have, we need to extract the name and tempo fields. So our query will essentially be select name from songs and we will order by tempo. And that's the second query to write. So this is how you actually get your songs extracted and it's arranged in increasing order of tempo. Next, for the third one, we actually need to list down the names of the top 5 longer songs in descending order of length. So looking at our tables, what we need is the name and duration of the songs. So our query will first be select name from songs and we will order by the duration field and we only want the top 5 listed in descending order so that is represented by descending limit by 5. And that is the third query to list. So if you found this video helpful so far, just want to say thank you so much for watching this video and for your support. It means a lot to me if you are able to give this video a thumbs up or even subscribe to the channel. That really helps with the algorithm to push up this YouTube video to others who might be looking for help with this lab solution as well. So moving on now for the fourth query we need to write, we want to list down the name of any songs where densibility, energy and valence are greater than 0.75. So these are the fields that we want from the songs table. So our query will be select name from songs where densibility is greater than 0.75 and energy greater than 0 0.75 and valence is greater than 0 0.75 and that would be how you write the fourth query next we want to return the average energy of all songs so the additional information that we're given is that we should output a table with a single column and a single row that lists the average energy so what this means is just that we want a single output which is just the average energy of all the songs so to find the average energy of all the songs, we will actually use average to help us find it. So to do that, we will just use select average energy from songs. Okay, and that will be the fifth query that we need to write. Moving on to the next query, what we want to do is to list the names of all the songs that are written by Post Malone. So you can see that this is the first query that we need to write that mentions an artist. So what this means is that we need to probably link both tables together. And as mentioned earlier, the artist ID field from songs and the ID field from artists will be the common field that links both tables together. So remember, we want the names of songs by Post Malone. So for our query, we want to select name from songs where the artist ID equals to that of Post Malone. So how do we find the artist ID of Post Malone? Artist ID will equal to the ID from the artist table where name equals to Post Malone. And that will be how you list down the names of songs that are written by Post Malone. 
Next, we run the average energy of songs that are by Drake. So similar to the previous query, we need information from both tables. So we will select average energy from songs, where artist ID equals to the ID from the artist table, where name equals to Drake. So lastly, what we want is a query that lists the names of the songs that feature other artists. And that's when songs include the string feet in the name of the song. So to do so, we will actually select name from songs where name contains the text feet. So when you are writing SQL, instead of contains, we will use like. So that will be when name like feet, where we want to look for a string within the name called feet. And that is what we will extract. So let's put all this in our program. So what I've done is I've included brief comments about what the SQL query we need to write is about. So for the first one, simply we will just select name from songs. And to test whether we got this, we will put this in cat1.sql. Right, and with this suffix at the end. And you can see this will actually list down the names of all the songs that we are looking for. Moving on, we want to list the names of all songs in increasing order of tempo. So select name from songs, right, and we will order by tempo. So let's run this again, and we will now change it to 2.sql. So this will be the songs that we have in order by tempo. Moving on, we want to list the names of the top 5 longer songs in descending order of length. So we will select name from songs again and we will order by duration and then we will sort by descending order and limit it to the 5 records. So let's run this again and you can see we actually have 5 records as listed. Next, we want to list down the names of any songs that have danceability, energy and valence greater than 0.75. So you can see where densibility greater than 0.75 and where energy is greater than 0.75 and valence is greater than 0.75. So let's run this again. And this will be the names that we've actually extracted from our database. Next, we want to return the average energy of all the songs. So that is simply select average energy from songs. So remember, we just want a single average number when we run this. And yep, there you go, it's 0 0.65906. Moving on, we want to list the names of all songs that are by Post Malone. So we will select name from songs where the artist ID equals to the ID from the artist table when name equals to Post Malone. Okay, so let's run this to confirm that we have all the songs by Post Malone. And yep, here are all his songs that we have here. Moving on, now we want the average energy of songs that are by Drake. So we will select... Oops, I'm putting it in the wrong place. So let's move it here. So we will select average energy from songs. Where? And again, artist ID equals to the ID from the artist table when name equals to Drake. Let's try this now. So we just want the average energy. And there we go, 0 0.599. And lastly, we just want to list down the names of all the songs that feature other artists. So we'll select name from songs where the name contains this string that we're looking for, which is feet, which is short for featured. So let's run it again and try, and there you go. These are the names of all songs that contains the text feet. Okay, now that we have written all of this, let's do a quick check 50. Personal access token.
And yep, here are the results that we have. We have produced the correct results for all 8 queries that we need to write. And there you go, this will be the solution for lab 7, which is songs. So if you have found this video helpful so far, do remember to subscribe to the channel and like the video, or you can even drop a comment. It really helps when people engage with the videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.